Oh my god. Uh, two, two, three. I got curfew like a child. <laughs> Can I just be Elsa? This is princess like, right? This is my crown. If I will ever be a queen of anything, I'll be queen of headaches and queen of migraines. I want to do a little, um, well actually not that little, Harry Potter giveaway. Goodbye? No thank you? What the actual... You know? <laughs> Hello! Literally just finished the other vlog, so... I also just finished rereading the third chapter and then Logan is literally set here. Uh, proofreading it for all of us and it's gonna go up in an hour. Before that though, I want to finish Lady Mechanica, which is my comic for the comic prompt. Um, I did get a little bit done yesterday, so I have like half of it left and I really can go ahead and like finish it now so I have like an hour so it should hopefully be okay. This whole thing is about a girl who is half mechanical and she's looking for answers as to where, who kind of made her half mechanical and she stumbles across another person who's also not all human and it, she just starts like this investigation. I was definitely more intrigued at the very beginning now I just kind of like eh. Look how cool this is but also ha. I have finished Lady Mechanica. It is, however, two o'clock, so I was like technically like an hour. Doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I actually really did enjoy it. I will definitely be reading the second one maybe soon, maybe this month. I don't know because I do have it. It's then it's not like my favorite favorite, and she's always very booby. <laughs> Find it a little bit funny, but um, I do really like it. I just something's missing, just like a tiny bit, and I don't really know what, but something's missing a tiny bit. Uh, I'm going to open the um, 15th day in the calendar and then I'm, oh my god, it's 15th, oh my god. <laughs> uh, I need to sort out some gifts because, I don't know about you guys, but Christmas is just stressful for me. It's just so, it's such a weird, weird holiday. Yeah, I finished it so I can take it off, sit and do some Patreon, like, um, letters. And I actually bought the little, like, finally, because it used to take me so long to melt the wax after everything, like, holding it. Like, it takes a while for it to melt. So this always takes me a gazillion of years. But now I have the little stand where I can put it and hopefully it's just gonna melt fine without me having to hold it. So I'm gonna go do that and then at 6 p.m. I have the Patreon Flu Network cast which is the monthly live stream and I'm so excited because last time I had so much fun. It was so chill to just chat with you um, and it was so like private and yeah it was lovely. So I'm super excited about that and then I will do the chapter thingy. Um, so let's go. <laughs> I should probably say this is the Cauldron Crate um, advent calendar for Harry Potter. Here, um, get it opened. Oh, this is a little sweater. Now, I know they ask you for your name and I wonder if this would be for your name or if this would just be G for Gryffindor. It's hard for me to tell because obviously I'm G. <laughs> I can hang it on the tree. Oh, and it's red. It's perfect. I really like it. Hello. Is this on? I don't know anymore. <laughs> Let's do the chapter three. Blinding light. Chapter three. Chapter three. <laughs> I'm, again, I'm not gonna read anything through here because you guys probably have already seen it, so I don't want to repeat myself. But basically, we wake up, we go to the Great Hall, we get to have a magical breakfast, and actually, it doesn't matter what you pick here, it was just for the funsies, so... But I, personally, would maybe have dessert for breakfast. I will pretend that it's a bit healthier by having it like warm, still kind of sweet dessert type of thing. So, cinnamon and honey porridge. Thank you very much. Um, then we get to um, the greenhouse and it's a whole shebang of um, the mandrakes. And we get a choice of three activities to do later on, which are uh, go and check out the Dueling Club meeting, which is like the first meeting. Go to the Nearly Headless Nick's 50th hundred uh, day party. Although I didn't say here particularly that we have promised that only just that we were invited. Once you click on it, it does actually say there that you like made a promise. But I think that was just maybe because of how I look through the book, but it doesn't matter. Like, you actually didn't promise, it's fine. I probably should change that. Um, or go to the Quidditch practice because um, Wood has been going crazy. So normally, I probably would go to the Quidditch practice, but 
because Wood is just being Wood and he's just being a bit extra and unnecessarily making us work too much, I would be like bitter and I would not go on purpose. Like I would not go from like principles. So <laughs> that one's out for me. Then it would be between nearly headless Nick's death day party because like I would probably feel kind of inclined to go but I think I would mainly just like go show face and then go and do another thing and so I feel like that wouldn't count for the main answer for this if you know what I mean because I would just like peep in and then do something else that I wanted but I, out of politeness I would kind of get in there so it was kind of between those two it's actually very hard to pick even though like it doesn't matter because <laughs> it is not real but um I'm gonna go to the dueling club meeting because I would be very oh my god I'm so red <laughs> I would be very intrigued so we are sat in this pink ass room um uh, okay you get there and everything is like lilac and purple and pink and Gilderoy is just having good old fun time decorating the hall and making more of a... I, I assume he would probably be more into decoration than rather than actual fighting. We get a reading front. Oh my god. Like, again, I know every, exactly what happens in every scenario, obviously, but I don't actually... I can't keep track of what leads where prompt-wise because it's too much. It's too much and I'm not like I'm, I'm working on chapter five now so it's too much. Um, read a book with a pink or purple oh god. I'll have to have a really long think on this one. Oh god. Does Queen of Nothing have like a kind of like a purple like really light purple cover or is it blue? I can't remember. We'll check after I'm done with this. Completio. Okay and then we're thrown in there and being like, you now fight Malfoy. Um, and Malfoy is there shooting some sort of spell at us. We didn't quite catch what he cast. So we got to do something. So <laughs> there's three options. There's cast Protego, which is like the reasonable kind of like defend yourself. Like whatever he's casting there, like defend yourself. I'd probably be the person that would duck, <laughs> but also shoot something in return because this is Malfoy we're talking about. A person that has tormented my friends. Not just me, like, I don't, I probably wouldn't mind too much about me, but like, my friends, like Neville and Hermione, and like, call Hermione all sorts of names, and it's just the person that I want to do more for than just cast Protego. But Protego would be like a very reasonable kind of response. If, I think that would be my answer if it was someone else than Malfoy. But Malfoy has gotten on our nerves, he's been a right old prick there, and Protego is just a bit too kind for my liking. <laughs> um, and so the other two options that I have is either cast Expelliarmus, which will just take his wand away, that I just saw Snape cast, or cast Rictus Sempra, which is a tickling charm. And you guys know I would for sure cast a tickling spell because, one, it will not harm him, okay? It will not harm him. Um, but if I were hit by a Rictus Sempra spell, and I was like tickled. First of all, tickling, no one likes it. <laughs> but second of all, I would not get too like upset. I would not get embarrassed because I laugh at myself more often than, than like I laugh at others. Um, but I feel like if Draco were to be tickled publicly, he would be very embarrassed. But it's not like a malicious embarrassment that would make this kind of like mean. I feel like this is a very mild response to everything else he's done. So just like a tiny bit tiny teensy bit of his own medicine, you know. So I definitely think I'm gonna do that because Expelliarmus would just get his wand out and like obviously you would be safe afterwards but I'm a cast strict to Semper, which was a very long-winded way of saying this but <laughs> um okay so we get another prompt actually and this is read a book with a snake on the cover okay so this would this can definitely be Queen of Nothing, which works out fine, but that also leaves me with the pink purple book. But do I want to start another one? Because I might I think I'm gonna do Queen of Nothing for this one. Anyway, I think that's probably it because yeah, then everyone knows that I'm a parcel tongue, yada yada yada. <laughs> um and then we go to the Great Hall, but there's like, hold up, do you have the tension? from the chapter two, and I definitely do not, because 
I waited for Mrs. and Mrs. Weasley like a good girl. <laughs> um, okay, this is where it gets a bit sinister. It starts looking a bit less friendly. I can I start hearing voices, noise, um, and then I look up. And the Chamber of Secrets has been opened. Enemies of the air, beware. Tun tun tun. <laughs> okay, so this is the situation currently. I checked the Queen of Nothing cover, and it's definitely more like blue rather than this light. I swear. Um, there is some purple there. Trust me, <laughs> there is some purple there, but it's for sure more blue. So I think I'm gonna use it for the snake because it's definitely a snake on that, and I already. Sam, I started reading it. Honestly, just read the very beginning of it. So, um, gonna use it for that. And then for the purple slash pink book, I have a couple of options for myself here. So, I have this, which, again, in this slide looks more blue, but ev all the characters are purple. So, it's like half of the cover, I will count it. And which is the Adventure Zone kind of number two, I don't, um, which is like a D&D &D type of comic, which could be really fun. It's pretty thick, so it would last me for a while, because I don't actually like fly through comics as much as people think, I think. So, this is probably like my kind of number one choice. But if I want to be super cheeky here, if I want to be super cheeky, I also have this, which is all purple. I don't know how it looks in yours, but also pink, purple. This dude is blue. This is all purple. Um, and this is legitimately just funny comics of the guy that I really like. <laughs> I think this is more of like if I'm really struggling, um, that's gonna be my go-to. But also if, this is mainly if I read Queen of Nothing somehow really, really quickly, because I know some people just really got hooked and then couldn't put it down. So if that happens to me, which is probably not very likely, but if it does, and I for some reason don't really want a comic, then I also have Mirage, which look, has purple edges, and once you take the dust jacket, it's actually all purple as well. Why is this camera making it blue? Oh my god, wait. Is this better? Kind of. You can kind of see it's purple, I swear. Wait. It's purple. <laughs> Whatever. It is almost four o'clock, so I'm gonna go. Hello, it is Tuesday. Um, I don't think I filmed yesterday, did I? So I'm gonna go ahead and open the two doors that we are due in the advent calendar. I don't know why it always trips me up. I was overshadowed yesterday, so I didn't actually do any reading, so I don't have anything to update you on. Um, I did, however, manage to film something during the lunch break today, which is amazing, even though the construction is quiet now and it was drilling just, just in that window that I could film, but I don't actually get a lot of opportunity to film recently, so it'll just have to do. So let us get into the days. 16 and 17. Oh no, it's Ren Day soon. <laughs> what a pain. Okay. So I got 16, which is gonna be more of the charms. So what do we have? Oh, we have a, a dark mark. Really need to do my nails as well. This is all slither and stuff, I think. This is the necklace for the locket. Here we are. And the last one is oh the marble the marbolo ring. There we are. Cool. So a very Slytherin day <laughs> we got there. And then 17, which is today. Oh, Harry, you received your message and enclosed your Christmas present from Uncle Verna, Vernon and Aunt Petunia. Is this gonna be like a 50p coin? Because that's what they sent, no? And like a toothpick or some random stuff like that. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a 50p coin. <laughs> a toothpick. Which is what they sent. That is hilarious. And, <laughs> and 
and a napkin. I forgot the napkin, my bad. Um, I mean, I can use this, but if you live abroad, I suppose it could be like a nice collectible because it is a 50p coin. It's hilarious. It's a really weird thing to open, I suppose. Um, obviously, value-wise, is pretty clear. It's like, what, 51p or something? Like, one for this? I mean, I get it. <laughs> I get the idea. <laughs> I don't know, what do you guys think? Um, it's definitely in, in like, it's definitely funny and inventive and I'm sure there's gonna be value in the other ones, so excited to see for tomorrow. <sighs> Run day. <laughs> I'm gonna go get myself a snack later or something <laughs> from the corner shop. Did I even update you? I don't know if I updated you because like I did read a little bit on Monday night, so I am I think around like 40 pages, maybe 36 or something into the Queen of Nothing, which I do have here. Um, so, and I am enjoying it. It is actually taking me, I think, quicker to get into this one than it did for the first two, which I did really enjoy the end of them, but at the beginning it was taking me a little while to get into it. Well, this one definitely takes off where we kind of left off, but it goes a bit quicker, but still doesn't start with an action, which is like a sweet spot for me. I don't know if it works the same thing for everyone else, but that's the way I like it. So yeah, that's the update at the moment. <laughs> We just came back from dinner, like, in an actual restaurant, which we haven't had for months now. So it was really nice. We both set our phones aside, so we would just, like, chat, talked about some, like, New Year's resolutions, and just had a little chat in general. So I'm gonna go edit a little bit, because um, I want to get a video kind of edited and posted and did uh, do, a, like, an early access for Zim Patreons and then post that tomorrow. It's gonna be an owl crate unboxing. Um, and I have like a 9 p.m. cutoff now as instructed by a doctor because my <laughs> um, overworking tendencies are so bad that apparently I got a curfew like a child. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna work for a little bit because later I'm not allowed to so gonna go do that now. Just wanted to document that I had dinner outside of the house and it was very lovely. 10 out of 10 I would recommend if you have a chance and an ability and a privilege to do that from time to time, you know? Hello, we're gonna do Logan's chapter 3. Did we update you guys on the end of the other one? Do you want to say some thoughts on the previous book that you read? Or Early Riser? Oh yeah, good book. We'll, we'll talk about it in the wrap-up, yeah? Mm -hmm. Um, so... Let me just load that up for you. So you guys know what it kind of is, so we're just gonna kind of tell you what he picked. What are you gonna have for breakfast, boy? Well, butter, toast, egg, sausage, and bacon. They're British. We need some herbology. Oh, no, I'd go to the 505 day party. The paranormal book or a book that has ghosts. Spooky. I honestly don't really know if I have much for that. I'm gonna flick through adventures and I might have a... Uh, a ghost. A there. ghost, maybe. <laughs> it says has ghosts, so yeah. you're leaving that quite open. Try and cheer up Nick. I went back to the Great Hall for dinner. No, I didn't get detention because I didn't fly a car into a tree. <laughs> Spoopy! That's it. You got one plant. Chamber of Secrets has been opened. Do you know what you guys, guys he said previously? He was like, if I get, if I get, um, what did you say? If I get three or two, I'll just go back. Yeah, if I get two or three, three books, I'll go back and do it again. Oh, okay. I got one, so there we go. Hey, babe, you know I proofread this, yeah? Hmm? You know I, I, I proofread Yeah, but do you remember what leads where? Yeah, most of them. So did you do it like... No, I picked the ones I wanted to. I'm just saying. Okay. Like, I was saying. okay, so you just have to read something with ghosts or paranormal. I only have like Raven Cycle, which I don't think is going to be your cup of tea at all. Oh, Ninth House is technically paranormal. And maybe there's a ghost in Adventure Tire Zone, I don't know. Maybe, I'm gonna skip through it and see. Hello, welcome to... What's the day today? Hello, Wednesday? welcome to Wednesday. Wednesday. Um, I have a little bit of a reading update for you, actually. Oh, Logan also found a ghost in a sender. Was it a ghost? Spooky spirits. Spooky spirits. <laughs> so apparently he's counting that. Yeah. Um, 
And also someone on Twitter said that they're reading um, The Starless Sea for the paranormal one, which I had no idea that that even like qualifies. Very intrigued about that book in general because I just heard like different things from different people who I usually agree with. So interesting to see where I'm gonna fall into that. But I've of course been reading um, Queen of Nothing. I only read for like a little bit. I am currently on page 83 and I'm really enjoying it but again I kind of started reading quite late yesterday so then I just went to bed after like I don't know 15 minutes or something. I do hope to continue at some point today. Hopefully not too late like yesterday. I might just have that in my evening kind of after work. Although like without any spoilers but every like a lot of the times throughout the series I constantly question why is Jude helping her sister? I know they're twins, but they don't seem to be like too that close and also After everything she's done to her like I just don't get it Like I know she was kind of not trying to do it and like she had her own reasons to why she's helping But every time I'm like like no don't do it. Just don't do it I'm excited to see how things go. It's moving really quickly Like I'm talking one chapter is in one location another chapter is another location we change locations even in the same within the same chapter it moves really quickly but that's one thing that i really like about um holly black's writing is that she really just gets to the point kind of like but still descriptive enough manner that everything is very very clear in your mind like how it looks like but it's such a balance it's definitely well, maybe not a balance because it's definitely on like a quicker side but you know those really lengthy wordy big books um sometimes you're just not in the mood for that and when you're not in the mood for that like i feel like this series is a very good place to start okay so also let me do let me open today's ooh something quite big powdered root of asphodel and it has like uh so this is how the label looks like and it has like a kind of gray glitter Pretty cool. I can't remember what's this used in. Do you? Let me know if you do. I've actually spent the whole evening packing some gifts. Um, I have a couple of things to do and then I think I'm gonna be kind of done with the whole Christmas shebang. Um, it helps that me and my family are not really exchanging gifts this year, so that's a bit easier. But um, yeah, it's nine o'clock now, which is my cutoff time, and I think I'm gonna go to bed and um read a little bit so just want to brew myself some tea and chill in bed i think hey momo no 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 <laughs> don't actually bite me <laughs> just back and forth So, have I even turned on the camera today? I feel so out of it. I've done some reading yesterday. It was also funny because Logan read Ascender and apparently there's some like soul stuff there. So he's counting that as ghosts <laughs> for that prompt. But then he also started reading the Adventure Time, Adventure Zone? Adventure Zone. <laughs> um, number two. And a little bit in that, he was just like, I can't do it. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> he just really doesn't like the writing, which is so funny. Um, I still hope I do battery but i have also read a little bit yesterday and i am right here and on page 119 so i'm getting into it i really am enjoying it i just find that i don't have enough time in the evenings like it's not because i don't want to read it's because like by the time i get myself like calm enough to read like it's late <laughs> um but and it's funny because every evening i'm like this evening i'm gonna read and then i have to do something else like today I spent all evening editing and now it's nine o'clock. It just turned nine o'clock because I had my alarm for like stop working. <laughs> so I'm gonna stop working and it's such a mess. I really wanted to clean up. Yeah, I got some parcels today and I thought it was um, the stuff that I ordered for Logan, but I opened it and it was actually gifts from Jade. So now I don't know whether to open it now or because I've already seen some stuff and it was hilarious but um, I don't know whether to put it under the tree so I can open it during Christmas or should I just open it now? I think I'm gonna just do it now. 
Okay, first of all, I know because I know because this is the one that I opened. Um, there is this really cool, really beautiful um, soap <laughs> holder because Jade said, you said in your vlog you need a soap dish, so I got you a soap dish, lol. <laughs> I love that. I honestly love that and I definitely needed a soap dish. Now I can finally use all of those nice soaps that I have. Hell yeah. There's a, oh, there's a whole like uh, bag of face masks because obviously she knows I like them. I'm really do a face mask. I think I'm actually gonna put it on today. Um, and then I have the binding because I finally made like a weak ass wish list after a couple of people asked me to. So um, like on Amazon. So this was one of them and this one actually was recommended by Cody because she said this is something that I would probably enjoy. I remember this book because of really random thing. This was like foiled bookmark in one of the boxes. I think it was in the book box club. And I remember that this is a really stunning book. Look at that, it looks like Hogwarts. <laughs> We're not talking about Hogwarts today because JK Rowling did a whoopsie again, oh my god. But look how beautiful this book is underneath. Like, are you bloody kidding me? This is like so stunning, so up my alley, but more importantly, the actual book, as far as I know, is like a book within a book. It's about a, for a book bind. And then he discovers that one of the books has this name on and those books are like contain memories and like past lives and whatnot or something like that. I don't know, but I'm very excited because it sounds like that kind of like creepy kind of thing. I love, basically. So I'm super excited to read this and now I have it from Jade and it's all extra special. Um, I love it, thank you. I kinda knew... <laughs> I kind of knew she's gonna do something like that because when she asked me and before I made that list she was like what do you want and I was like I honestly don't know like I am content I'm good but obviously like when I exchange like gifts that is the least useful thing to say and she was like should I just send you like a month worth of supply of like the headache patches like you know the ones that I wear on my forehead sometimes um and I was like you know what that's actually not a bad idea as a joke but like I knew she's gonna include something like that in there and, and here it is so I think this is like a reusable hot or cold migraine relief wrap insta gel pack two packs Microwave and reusable. That's good. Say goodbye to painful migraine sinus and tension headaches. That's a big claim. The ones that I use say like, oh, it's not a medical thing. Place in a clean sealed bag and leave in freezer for one to two hours. Oh, so I would keep them in a freezer for a cold one. It has all of those like bubbles. Ah, fun, weird, don't know. And it has the whole thing. Oh my God, I'll look even more crazy than usual. Thanks, Jade. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what? Oh, can I just be Elsa? This is princess, like, right? This is my crown. If I will ever be a queen of anything, I'll be queen of headaches and queen of migraines. Perfect, beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Jade. I will definitely try it. Um, thank you so much. That is so cool. It's such a fun gift. It just like, oh. I love you, I miss you, I really hope that I get my life sorted a bit more so we can finally meet up like we've been trying to for nine months or something, so. And if you don't have the pleasure of knowing Jade at all, do yourself an honest favor and I will leave her video down below, I will leave her channel down below, because you need a Jade in your life. I need a Jade in my life and you need a Jade in your life. She's one of my dearest of friends. Okay, since I'm just sitting here unwrapping things, let me just open the, the, the cauldron creep one as well. 19 is gonna be another one, I think, of the charms. I'm thinking it might be a little bit of an overkill. Ooh, but this one's really cool. So this is, so a time turner, excuse my nails, I really need to do them. Then a Deathly Hallow symbol and also one that says always. There you go. So I'm conflicted because obviously you can also attach these as a necklace and you can wear them as necklaces. So I think these are fine. And also all of the charms, like literally almost all of them are very, very Harry Potter. They're not just like, oh, you know, a lightning bolt. Well, there was one, but like, um, it wasn't just like a generic cauldron or anything. It is definitely Harry Potter. So it is a custom one. I just feel like we have a lot of them and I see another one that's 22, which I think is also gonna be that. I'm thinking maybe that's the last one, but it is quite a lot of them. So I don't know how I feel about that in particular. Ooh, tomorrow, I think we're gonna have another candle because it feels like a candle that looks like a candle, so 
it might be a candle and it's nine o'clock already so i'm thinking i still have a couple of things to wrap actually i thought it was done yesterday but then i decided to order something else for logan because um it has been a very very rough year for me i might talk about it at some point not now and logan has been for the most part absolutely bloody amazing um very supportive it has been a very very hard year to be with me or be around me because there's been a lot of stressful stuff going on um and he's handled it like a champ and he's always been there for me and you know i'm just really thankful and i want to treat him basically a little bit so i ordered some extra stuff just because um he kind of knows what the main gift is so i wanted to have a little surprise one as well wanting to include a giveaway in this vlog as well because i have a lot of stuff that's accumulated from like when i put stuff away for the giveaway i'm gonna talk about that tomorrow i think i'm gonna select what i'm gonna put into this one in particular cat and another cat. I don't know why they're here. I think they might be hungry. Um, also, Logan got another cat bed. Did I show you one that we got yesterday? They didn't really take to it, but maybe sometimes it takes them a little while to get used to it. But we got one to go on a radiator, which we wanted for a while, but we just never got. And Momo has already spent like the last three hours sleeping on it because like they're heating and so on. Um, and it's so cute, but I don't think Zeus got a chance to try it out. I don't know if you would like it, bud. But it's so cute. I'll show you the next time that I see them do that but okay I really need to get on with the reading because I still have another book that's like purple to read as well which might end up being um that cheeky little comic oh my god wait there's another thing that arrived for me um it is from bookbox club this came with a christmas card from the girls from the bookbox club and a kitten Ah, you guys are so cute! Okay. <laughs> if you enjoy this bookish t-shirt, Momo, third of his house, destroyer of boxes. Tun, tun, tun. Anyway, um, and there's a little package here. I'm very tempted to just actually put it under the tree. I know how they look like. I'll insert a picture here. If you guys want to, I will I try and link them down below if they are selling them at the moment. But if you are unashamedly bookish uh, or you have a friend who is unashamedly bookish and you would like to get them a present, this could be a very decent one. And Bookbox book, book Club, they're just such genuine people. I really love them. So thank you so much, girls. I'm gonna pop this under the tree because it's all wrapped and stuff and I just kind of want to have something under the tree because currently there's one big gift from me to Logan and another gift from Logan to me that's not wrapped yet <laughs> so it's looking a little bit sad so I'm gonna put it there and um hey Momo <laughs> important NPC that's more than a, like 100 years old that I put on the like the, the gravitas voice because Norbert was a good voice Norbert the nearly nothing gnome Hello, it is Saturday morning. Oh my god, wait, is that the last day? Oh yeah, it's the last day of the vlog. Crazy. <laughs> okay, um, as you can see, clearly just out of bed. Um, we stayed way too late yesterday because we were watching The Witcher, but we couldn't stop. We binged it all. Oh my god, I love it. I um, am a big fan of the games. I haven't read the books, but now I kind of really want to, so I might try that as well. Uh, we do have the first one. Logan has read it, but I have not. I would just kind of stick with the, with the games. Um, I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I feel like the casting was so, so good. Oh, it's just amazing. Obsessed. Literally obsessed. Super happy with it. Oh, everything. Sense of humor. Acting. The blood effect was like kind of a bit like cartoonish, but um, I didn't actually mind it. I just loved everything about it. I'm very excited. I want um, the next season like tomorrow. Um, that being said, very clearly done zilch reading yesterday. I look super rough. Okay, I have like actually like quite a big list of things to do. Oh my god, it's the last day. I still have both of my prompts to fulfill until tomorrow, one o'clock. I could go over that, but um, I'd rather not if I can. So gonna be a busy day, which is not great because it's already kind of late <laughs> because again, went to bed late, woke up late. You know how it works. I'm gonna go and start the day. <laughs> We're just about to go for a little walk with Logan because I am just really low on energy and I need some fresh air basically because I'm just like crashing even though like the day just started so it's the 20th one um which I think is a candle from like it's definitely like a jar this one is shell cottage I really like the label actually here we are um and this one has champagne and roses oh I might not like this one yeah it's not my favorite I'm never I'm like never been a big fan of that scent but it's not not nice 
and it would be perfect for like a New Year's Day as well. And then let's do 21st. Oh, it's a little vial, okay. Oh no, <laughs> it's the flubber warm mucus and it looks like mucus. <laughs> so well done on that, bit gross, but a really cool um, item for the shelf. Oh, it just looks, looks ill. It looks like mucus. Whoa. <laughs> Hello. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I believe... <laughs> just climbing my chair. Also, look how cute. We have this out because we need to change some um, lights. And Monwish has been really loving himself on this. Um, but yeah, as I mentioned, I want to do a little, um, well, actually not that little, Harry Potter giveaway of the bits and pieces that I accumulated over time. Um, and I think I'm gonna continue this into 2020, where I'm gonna do, like, giveaways of the stuff that's from, um, various subscription boxes. Or Plus, I really do want to just give it to people who are also really, like, big fans and, um, want the stuff. So, in the future, it might be, like, smaller ones, I don't know, but, like, currently... It is, we have this. And to enter, I'm actually gonna, I realized how to do this a bit quicker or like easier. Um, Cause last time I had to put the comments manually into the list on the website for the random picker. But I thought I'm just gonna create a Google form. And if you want to enter, all you have to do is go there into the Google form, click whatever questions I'm gonna put there. Probably just like, if you want to enter, yes. And then um, to leave your social media handle and tell me what social media handle that is. So I can contact you and ask you for your address. I'm not gonna ask for the address in the thing or the email because I don't want to collect that data. <laughs> but um, because like Twitter or Instagram handles are public, that is much better. And then I can just get that spreadsheet out and then pick a number, pick a random generated number, and that will be the winner. So that is just easier. So what you can get <laughs> in this giveaway, first of all, this print from Geek Gear. Sorry if you can hear Logan. I'm gonna go through these fairly quickly because you probably have seen a lot of these items. A lot of them are self-explanatory. Um, speaking of prints, another one. This one also from Geek Gear of Harry and Ron in Divination. Then a pack of festive tea. I know this is gonna be sent out in January, but you can still drink it. A pack of all flavor Birdie Bots Bees. This little candle, it smells divine, but very similarly to another one that was in the same uh, advent calendar. So I'm um, giving one away. The Harry Potter Gryffindor socks, I have so many. Also, like if you're not a Gryffindor, you can still wear them because of the main characters, cause you know, it's fine. Then I have this potion for your shelves and these awesome bath salts. Another candle, this one is from cauldron crate and it's like a layered one and it is a Gryffindor common room. Then we have quite a few pins. So there's this one that says you're a wizard, the sorting hat and the peeps one which I think is super fun. This butterbeer pin, this item which apparently is for keeping your lip balm with you so handy dandy. A Gryffindor scarf one and also a nine and three quarters um button. Another pack of Bertie Bob beans but in this new packaging. Uh, another tea which is the Basilisk Blood Tea. I actually really like their teas but this one is with cherries which I just really don't like cherry flavor in any capacity um, but I know like it's just me. <laughs> um, this cute pin of Fluffy that looks like Dalmatian boys if you would ever focus. Um, then this free the house elves pin. It's like all glittery as well. This massive acceptance letter. Potions book. It's very reflective, but it's just potions on it. Just trust me. <laughs> a little Dobby button and also matching that scarf. A Gryffindor sweater. It's a lot of pins. A potions master, kind of like a name badge pin. A troll pin. Another Gryffindor. That's from the same set actually. So this is the the Thai one. I lied, there's one more pin. <laughs> this is basically like a pin giveaway. Um, this one that says 10 points to Gryffindor. Super excited item. Um, also, if you haven't had your Cherry Wallace Christmas box, spoiler for that one, so maybe skip like a couple of seconds. Um, but this awesome Remember All, I absolutely adore it, but I am lucky enough that one of you guys had actually made one for me beforehand, and I feel like straight up just greedy keeping two because they're rare in the world, and I really want to share one with you guys. The temptation to keep both is strong, but sharing is scary. 
Then there's also this Visitor's um, Purpose Rescue Mission card, which is from Harry Potter and Order of Phoenix. Letter from High Inquisitor to um, the Minister of Magic. This really cool um, list pad that says, don't leave it till later, you big second grader. Um, second grader, sorry, <laughs> second grader. Two more uh, prints. This one I love of Grimmauld Place. It's one of the more beautiful ones I've ever seen. And then there's this one that's like a cover, like the Goblet of Fire one. All of these stickers, all of the Harry Potter stickers, I'm not gonna go through them. You can, if you win, it's a little surprise, I suppose. Um, and this print as well. That is everything for this particular box. If you would like to get these goodies, I'll leave the link to the um, giveaway form <laughs> down below. It'll, it will legitimately be as simple as like clicking and also telling me where to find you if you do win. And I'll announce the winner um, in the next one. Um, I think I'm gonna go clean up a little bit, but also before that, I got some mail yesterday and... I'm gonna open it now, but I know it's from you guys because Logan stopped by the P.O. box. Okay, so I have a couple of letters as well. So I'm gonna start with them. First up, we have this one. Um, this is from Kiara. Merry Christmas, Kiara. It did get in time for Christmas. Thank you, Kiara. And I'm like, that really means a lot to me. And I am so happy to hear that you're coming to terms with it, basically. And, you know, then we have this one. Oh my god how fun thank you i know exactly where this card is from um this is what it says um this one is from nadia merry christmas nadia thank you so much for your card oh thank you i really hope so too also look an owl cute and then i have so many more i feel like a part of me is like maybe i should leave it for christmas but then i feel like i'll just get too emotional over christmas so i think i'm gonna get emotional through so many days you know <laughs> just spread it out um so first up, we have this Zoeva thing. I love that. Um, I think on this side it says, sorry, it's not makeup. There's a lot of, there's a custom form on it, so I can't really see what it says, but I, th I found it hilarious. <laughs> is this like a fake book, but it, or is this like a real book? It has like a clasp, but it feels really soft and it has this writing. I don't know what language that is. It might be French. This is from Paper Blanks. Oh, it's an actual book. It has like these like old edges, like aged edges. And it's a notebook. Oh my God, that's so stunning. That's also perfect for like D&D &D notes because that might be what I'm gonna use it for. <laughs> that is so pretty. Warning, cute pets inside. Oh my God. <gasps> from Sophie. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you so much, Sophie. That was such a wonderful letter. It's really hard not to like get too emotional and cry, but I'm trying. <laughs> Sophie's a Mooney and the most awesome, kind, sweet person ever. Thank you so much. I hope you know how much I appreciate you. Oh my god. <laughs> There's a sorrow and Nina. Look at, do at that pup. Oh my god, I want a dog so badly. <laughs> Guys, if you send me a dog, That'd be great. <laughs> don't send me a dog. I don't think Logan would appreciate it at the moment, but still. Um, and then there's two really beautiful cards with gold foil. Um, and this one says, Happy Holidays. This card reminds me of Z's because my mind makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> it totally makes sense because this one is brown and this one is white and it says the same thing, but about Momo. Oh my god. I love it. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I cannot wait to like get to know you better and thank you for watching. Thank you for the Christmas gift. Mainly thank you for your letter and for what it said. It really, really, really means a lot to me. What you said is not awkward to admit. I just appreciate it so, so much. So thank you. Oh my God, Momo. Momo. <laughs> Are you okay, boy? Then we have this Amazon parcel. <gasps> it isn't a gift thing. Oh my god. Okay, so I might just leave it under the tree then. I might I might save this for the tree. Um, I don't know. Again, like Sophie said, my mind makes no sense whatsoever because I could have just left that one as well. But this one is like wrapped and I cannot see through it. I can feel that it's a book. I have no bloody clue what sort of book because of the size. Like it's really thin but like bigger than normal. Don't know whether to read the card just yet. I kind of want to so I can... <laughs> it says a little extra gift this is so fucking cute the art is amazing you'll love it much love from pris thank you pris 
I will keep this for Christmas Day so I can open it. This is so pretty. Okay. Thank you, Pris. And I cannot wait to see what it is. Also, damn it, Pris, I told you not to get me anything. Ooh. But also, thank you. <laughs> Okay, there we go. <sighs> Ta-da! There is this parcel. Again, don't worry, the address is my P.O. box. I'm not exposing myself. I love that this one has like a, like a carrying string. Look, so pretty. It says G. Oh, another one that is really hard not to open. Maybe I shouldn't. Let's see what the card says. Maybe it says, wait till Christmas and then I will not have an... Oh my god. It has a spoiler card. This is like an actual unboxing. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is the most gorgeous card I have ever seen. What? That is so cute. Wait, what the hell did you make this? I hope this didn't cut off midway while me filming. Um, so this is from Francesca. Thank you so much. Oh my bloody god, like it's very odd because I have not really spoken about it a lot just yet on my channel. Uh, in general, I mean, I've spoken a little bit um, previously, and you guys probably get that from just watching that it's been a rough, rough, rough year for me. Um, and what you said here, first of all, those doctors that told you what they told you, goodbye, no thank you, what the actual, you know? <laughs> um, but what you said to me, I'm so glad that you are feeling much better, and what you said to me, I really needed to hear it. It still doesn't really like kick in, because you know, if you've been in a situation you know how it feels, it's hard, but I still really, really needed to hear it. I'm so bad at not opening things because, oh, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't. Damn it, fine, I'll keep it for, <laughs> I'll keep it for Christmas. Why is it so hard? But thank you so much, Francesca. I will definitely, I will film, don't, like, I will definitely film myself opening this on Christmas, but um, I'm gonna keep it for Christmas. I think I'm gonna put it separately out of the box just because they look so pretty. Cats have already like chewed on all of the packing and stuff, but they're so beautiful. I just kind of want to display them. Thank you so much, Francesca, and I will definitely be opening that later. I cannot wait. Thankfully, that's not many days actually from now, so we're fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> One last thing here is from Tanya from New Zealand. Hello? Okay. I would love to visit New Zealand. It's one of my, like, those countries that I really, really want to. It's, like, it's on my list of maybe, hopefully, one day. Oh my god, look how colorful. So there's, first of all, obviously, the card. Oh, of course, I never, never read letters, like, out loud, so don't even worry about it. Your kitties are beautiful. Thank you so much for your letter, Tanya. I really, really appreciate it. And let us get into the gifts. Oh, so I'm very intrigued to see how it actually looks like. Um, ooh. Okay, so this first of all, this is ca a calendar by her because she is a photographer. This is a Tanya Rowe Photography 2020. Oh, it's like animals. So this one is of an eagle. Oh, I wonder if it's like old birds. Nope. <laughs> oh, that one's cool. I like the black around. <laughs> a cat, of course. <laughs> Thank you very much, Tanya. That is really pretty. A magnet card, but um, if you are in New Zealand and you need something, this is her card. Oh, those are really cute. So these are like bookmarks, but you can actually like feel, because it looks like a, how do you call that? Like a, a row of like Polaroids. These are really cute. I feel like it's not focusing. There it is. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Self-care for cats. Feline's gu guide to living the pampered life you deserve. This is cute. This is really cute. Can I count this on Goodreads? I wonder if that counts. Your girl desperately <laughs> needs some extra books. And then the last thing is this thing. Look how cool. This is actually done by her in its head wig on top of a, a roof, I think, with like a, what are you called? Oh my god, a Deathly Hollows uh, necklace. And it looks so beautiful. She did say to look at it like from like further away because obviously closely it might be difficult, but it's cross stitch. How awesome. Actually, cross stitching was one of these things that I didn't absolutely hate in my like home ex classes, um, but it looks so pretty. Well done, Tanya, that is so, so pretty. And thank you so much for sending that to me. I don't know how long that took. 
So I really appreciate it. You're very talented. Thank you so so much. That was a that was a, some random stuff of opening half and then putting half under the tree with no reason whatsoever. But um I'm gonna go because it's getting dark and we do have like oh my god it's three o'clock and we do have D, D at six. So I have a lot of things to do before that. So I'm gonna go. Hello, so I've just, sorry, I've just been taking my makeup off, <laughs> so I look interesting. I think I'm gonna have to end this vlog here, it's actually like, I don't know, quarter past 12 at night, because we usually end up finishing up around like 9 or 10, but we entered into battle and we had to finish that up and it just took way too long. So I have done zero reading today and I'm a bit stressed about it, but hopefully I just read a lot tomorrow. I don't even know anymore, but yeah, <laughs> sorry the camera died, of course it did. That's kind of where we're at now, and I have a lot of reading to catch up with. Bad and scary, but chapter 4 comes out tomorrow, and I hope it goes well. That's gonna be the majority of my tomorrow to do, plus the reading, plus a lot of other stuff that I actually need to do, so... Anyway, that's not interesting. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I don't, like, every time the week goes by, I'm like, I don't even remember what it was, like, happening. The spot's still going, so say hello to Francis. Let's name it Francis. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Hope your week three went well. I'm really excited for week four. Thanks so much for watching. Stay awesome, stay kind, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!